let's talk about podium trial, one of the biggest anal cancer trials in metastatic on unresectable settings for this, this disease site. Kristen, study design here and its findings, please. Yeah, so the just to kind of set the stage for Podium 303, there was the original INTERACT study, which looked at uh, first-line uh, patients with metastatic anal cancer, locally recurrent, and that randomized patients to either Carbotax or um, 5 of cisplatin. And so what we saw there was that there was actually an improvement with the Carbotax arm in terms of, of response rates and other, other endpoints. So that clearly became the first line, um, first line regimen that was um, the best for metastatic anal patients. Um, so what INTERACT2 or this Podium 303 study looked at was patients who had not been pre previously treated who were eligible for chemotherapy, they were randomized to either um, Carbotax uh, plus placebo versus Carbotax plus retifanlumab, which is a PD-1 inhibitor. So we know from prior data that in the second line and beyond from the NCI 9673 study that there were patients who definitely benefit from nivolumab in the second line and beyond. Um, but the question here was, okay, can can really adding this to chemotherapy in the first line uh, make a difference and help patients more. Um, so this study design did allow for a crossover in patients um, who, were, um, who were randomized to the chemo alone arm at first. So what we saw um, from Dr. Rao's presentation at ESMO was that, um, that the PFS actually was statistically significantly different in favor of the retifanlumab arm. And this was just an interim analysis of overall survival, um, but it did favor, it was trending towards an improvement in overall survival with the addition of retifanlumab too. And as you said, this is a very large study um, of about 300 patients, which was the kind of the biggest one we had seen so far. It's great to see the progress in this particular challenging disease, close to six months of overall survival benefits. Sure, we have to say how it translates even in longer term there, but this is impressive at this point where it stands. This will, in fact, be the new standard of care treatment in this particular disease. Would you adopt this as a new standard of care or would you rather wait for a longer term data, Kristen? Yeah, it's a great question. And I do want to say that um, we just this week completed a cruel on our uh, ECOG Akron 2176 study, which is looking in the a similar patient population in the first line setting of Carbotax plus or minus nivolumab. Um, so we should have data on that soon, uh, which hopefully will um, confirm what we've seen and kind of add to our information on um, on how to utilize this, um, this type of regimen in our patients. But I do think this will become a new standard of care.